one of the questions and one of the challenges in developing new drugs for neuroendocrine tumors uh, is that they sometimes do grow more slowly than other malignancies. Uh, for most cancers, when we think about new drugs, we do clinical trials and we want to see a, an overall survival benefit. If you were to try to do a study like that for neuroendocrine tumors, you'd probably need thousands of patients and you'd have to wait 10, 15 years to get results, and nobody wants to wait that long. So for the clinical trials of neuroendocrine tumors um, to develop new drugs, progression-free survival rather than overall survival has really been the trial endpoint to prove efficacy. Um, what we were interested in is seeing um, in a cohort of patients that had been followed over a very long period of time, does progression-free survival really correlate with overall survival? Um, and in this group, which was followed for really over 10 years at our center, uh, we did in fact see this correlation between progression-free survival and overall survival uh, in patients with metastatic neuroendocrine tumors.